So scenario three is a group of scientists visit a gymnastics training camp for young girls aged 10 to 16 with an intent to find out if their new protein shake will enhance their flexibility. The protein shake that the girls were given has, has um, possible known side effects which the girls were not told about. The group of scientists contacted Basies to see if they would receive ethical clearance. However, they were denied this due to the side effects that the protein shake might have. After receiving this information, the scientists decided to carry out the experiment anyway, as they were prepared to take the risks and possible side effects that could cause that could be caused and the risk of losing their credibility and reputation. Since the scientists believe it would benefit the world of sport and the world of science, all gymnasts at the training camp were given the same concentration percentage of the protein shake to make the experiment fair. However, during the experiment, some of the girls started to complain that they were experiencing cramp in their bodies. The scientists allowed the younger girls aged under 12 um, who were suffering from cramp to sit out from the rest of the experiment. However, the older girls who were also experiencing cramp were told to continue till the end of the session and the experiment. This therefore shows inequality in the scientists' testing because they allowed some to sit out and denied others the opportunity to withdraw from the experiment therefore breaking today's laws on ethical and legal issues. Also, the fact that the experiment was done after the proposal was denied by Bases is, sci is scientific misconduct, because they carried out the experiment that was deemed unsafe by Bases, therefore risking the possibility of long-term effects on the gymnasts. So again, we're going to look at the consequences of uh, the scientists' actions. So possible consequences for the scientists within this scenario could be that they are sent to an ethical training program to learn about exactly what they did wrong when conducting this experiment. Um, by ignoring bases and going ahead with the experiment after they had been denied it could lead to these scientists losing their bases accreditation. Now we're going to move on to scenario 4 which is our last scenario here today. So a group of scientists visit a gymnastics club for young girls to see if a new type of gripping chalk they had created would improve a gymnastics grip on equipment within certain events. The, the product being tested includes a new molecular structure which is hoped to absorb more moisture to improve a person's grip. Before the test is carried out, the scientists did a health screening test for each gymnast to see if they will have any kind of reaction to the chemicals within the chalk. All results came back ne negative, meaning it was okay to proceed with the experiment. The scientists also received ethical clearance uh, from BASES and the institution, Institutional Ethics and Review Committee, as well as clearance uh, received by both these governing bodies. The scientists also got in contact with the gymnastics the gymnast parents whose children were under the age of 18 to sign the participant's disclaimer. Anyone who was 18 or over were asked to fill out the participant disclaimer as standard. The scientists made um, the coaches check all the facilities equipment that would be used within the experiment to make sure that it was all up to standard and met safety requirements. This shows good practice because it was the researchers responsibility to make sure that all the equipment was safe for the participants to use and they received consent for everyone taking part. It was also their responsibility to contact the governing bodies such as bases to get clearance to carry out this experiment. So again, we're just going to look at the consequences for scenario four. Uh, by carrying out this experiment in a safe and coordinated manner, and by abiding by the guidelines of bases and the other governing bodies, these scientists would face no consequences for their practices. However, if they changed their way in which the experiment was carried out and didn't get consent from the younger gymnast's parents, then they could lose their credibility and research credibility which would prevent them from being able to carry out future experiments within the field of science. That's the end of my 4.1. Thanks for watching.